I just wanted to do a quick, uh, simple video, um, just to kind of explaining quickly um, how I produce music if I'm blind. Um, that way, people don't have to wonder, how does this guy make music if he's blind? So, the way I make music, since I'm blind, is um, the same way I use my computer, using a screen reader called VoiceOver. So here's just an example. This is a huge project. I'm going to close this window and this window. Actually, I need that window. Then command two to open this. So here's my mixer. As you can see, it's a gigantic project. It's like 70 projects, or 70 tracks rather. Um, and you guys can't hear it, but one of the main ways I'm able to work on music and create music and whatnot is because of a thing called a screen reader. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so it's voiceover. And I'll just unmute it quickly to show you guys kind of how it sounds, and a lot of you probably will not be able to understand it because it's fast. Uh, but for any blind users, you might as well just skip this video because you guys will already know um, a lot of what I'm talking about. Um, so yes. Um, Please select me. All right, so now you can hear my voiceover. This is what voiceover sounds like. Logic Pro. Logic Pro. Out of mixer, layout area, out of mixer. New dance track, mixer, group, in mixer, 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 layout area, in mixer, layout area, analog piano, partially hidden. And uh, I'm in the mixer right now, so obviously I can enter any of these channel strips that I want to. White noise sustained, partially, duplex, partially hidden, channel strip group. So let's just, for example, I'll enter. Arena piano, partially hidden, channel strip group. Growling bass side chain, partially hidden, channel strip group. This. In growling bass side chain, partially. I can go into this channel strip here. Setting button. This growling bass side chain. Out, out, of, out of mixer, group. Screen logic. Mixer, group, mixer, group. New dance, full screen, minimize button, full screen button. Press full screen. Okay. Space with. There we go. Mixer, toolbar. In mixer, toolbar. No visible title to interact. Leaf folder. Edit menu button. Out of mixer, toolbar. Mixer, layout area. In mixer, in growling bass side chain. Channel strip group. Setting button. Off, off. And I Equal. can see all of the different parameters. Mini plug, copy K, group. I can tell that complete control is on this, which is Native Instruments plugin, which is totally accessible for the blind thanks to Native, uh, Native Control Standard or NKS. Um, it basically, you can use the keyboard to tweak different parameters and stuff of plugins and synths and that kind of thing. Um, if they've been made accessible using that um, system, NKS. Insert bar, but track space, group. Which all of Native Instruments stuff has. Insert track space, group. To one degree or another. So then I can also see some a lot of third-party plugins here that are not using NKS. They're just accessible because my voiceover will read them um, because they've been made accessible. Um, and so it's track spacer from Waves Factory, for example. In track space, group. I Bypass, open, open button. Growling base side chain. Growl growling base side chain. Side chain to two bypass. Quick side chain. It's two. Pop up button. My uh, kick drum. Quick side chain. Pop up button. I can see that I've you know initiated my own preset. Quick side chain. Button collapse. Disclosure triangle. Go into here now. For you guys, if you if a sighted person were to open link, this, uncheck view menu button, you would see what's called menu check mark track spacer two point five. The GUI or the editor. Press GUI, track spacer two point five. It would look like this. I'm assuming that the video is working correctly and that it's showing you the correct thing. I'm hoping that it is. This is my first time doing this. Um, but it would look like this. But for us, when we use um, when we use plugins, not 100% of the time, but a lot of the time, we're going to be using them with what's called Controls View in Logic. And anybody else that has used Logic Pro that... Um, for any length of time, we'll have seen the dialog box pop up that says, um, hey, do you want to enable controls view by default? View, menu button. And controls view just makes it so that all of the plugins, instead of showing knobs and graphical things and pictures and that kind of thing, show these. Menu, control, check mark, track spacer, two, controls. Press controls, view, menu. Numbers and sliders. Now, all plugins are not accessible. All synths and instruments and samplers and stuff are not accessible. Um, it's a very important thing to note. We, you know, uh, you know, we try to make 
we try to advocate as much as possible to these companies to please, please, please make yourself accessible, but not all of the companies listen um, or care to listen. That's a whole other discussion for another day. However, this is one of those plugins that is accessible in controls view. Table, so attack. I can go into this table in controls view. In table, attack, attack, zero point. I'm change the attack. High cut, 20.0. So low cut, point, release, 50 point. Release. And 50.0 slash stereo mode. L slash R selected radio button. One of or anything else that I need to. Auto. Um, button expanded. Link unchecked. So, yeah, that, I just figured I'd do that quick demo um, of controls view. No, I mean, new bands. Or of, uh, of how I make music when I'm blind. Out of track space. Group. I can also do things like. New bands track. Tracks group. Space with application. Go into tracks group. The in tra tracks, tracks header group. Tracks contents group. Into the tracks contents and see all my regions. In track one, in three, region. I can, you know, lengthen them, shorten them. I can even do things if I really wanted to, like change track colors. I can, you know, I would never need to. I can't see them anyway. What's the point? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I can if I ever so choose to. So that, I just want to do that quick demo. For people, loop back, mute and capturing, mute toggle button. Uh, of how I um, make music while blind. Now, for most of these upcoming videos, you will not hear voiceover at all. You won't have to. You might hear some bleed through because of the headphones I'm wearing. Because um, I'm wearing some open back uh, headphones. I'm wearing Sennheiser HD 650s, but you will not hear it. The you know in in full blown you know, stereo in the way you just did. Um, because I know, especially um, for a lot of sighted people, that can get really annoying. And I want these videos to be able to be, you know, cool for blind people, but also cool for sighted people to watch, you know. A lot of these upcoming videos I want to start doing are like track breakdowns or me just writing music and, you know, putting it up. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. If anyone has any questions about how, um, you know, uh, more about my process, um, just let me know. But obviously, I'll be showing that more in the uh, breakdowns and writing tracks as well. So hope everyone is doing well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And uh, thanks.